This video is the first in a series of videos explaining how to calculate minor scales. These are the different types of minor scales which I'll be tackling, natural minor, harmonic minor and melodic minor. This video, part one, focuses on the natural minor scale. Now please don't switch off yet if you're only interested in learning about harmonic and melodic versions of the minor scale. The natural minor scale is an essential first step you need to learn before you can master harmonic and melodic scales. By learning about natural minor scales, you're only a very small step away from understanding the melodic and harmonic versions of the scale. Therefore, please persevere with natural minors before jumping ahead onto parts two and three. There are various ways to calculate scales, and the method which I found most successful with my students is by using the circle of fifths. Therefore, it's essential that you understand how to create and how to use the circle of fifths before watching this video. If you need to, have a look at my video Creating the Circle of Fifths, or if you know how to create the Circle of Fifths, have a look at this more advanced video, Using the Circle of Fifths to Calculate Minor Key Signatures. OK, let's start with a fairly straightforward example, E Natural Minor Ascending. As with my other videos, at the bottom of this screen, I'll be listing each of the steps we take to create each of the minor scales. This is where I'll detail the steps to take for natural minors. The other empty spaces will be filled as we explore each of the other different types of minor scales. Step one, calculate the key signature. To do this, we use the circle of fifths, and you should be familiar with this site. With minor scales, we always start at A, over here on the right, and count around until we get to the E. That's E from E minor. Here is the E. It is one notch away from A on the sharp side of the clock. Therefore, we know that E minor has a key signature with one sharp. Over in the bottom left hand corner is our order of sharps. We take just the first letter from this order, only one letter because we've calculated our key signature to have just one sharp in it. It's an F, so our key signature for E minor will have an F in it. Let's pop that key signature onto a stave. Step one is now complete. This is step two, write in the notes. Writing the notes from E, E because we're dealing with E minor, if we were dealing with B minor we'd start on a B, C minor we'd start on a C and so on. All the way up to the next E. Remember we've been asked to create an ascending scale, hence why we're going up. It's extremely important that you check to ensure that you've put a note on every line and in every space. More of this in part three of this series of videos. That's it. With step two completed, you've now written a natural minor scale. It's as simple as that. If you've watched my video on major scales, you'll recognize that this is the same method as calculating major scales. Let's try just one final natural minor example. C natural minor, ascending and descending. Step one, calculate the key signature. Here's our circle of fifths. Find the C. Here it is, right at the top. We start at A and count around to C. One, two, three. Therefore, as C is three notches away from A and on the flat side of the clock, C minor has three flats in its key signature. Let's look at our order of flats. We take the first three letters, B, E and A. They become B flat, E flat and A flat. Let's pop that key signature onto our stave. Step one is now complete. Step two, write in the notes. We start on C, as this is C minor, and ensuring that we put a note in every space and on every line, we draw the notes up to the next C. This is the ascending scale, but looking at the question, we've also been asked to write the descending version as well. Now I've written my ascending and descending scales in different bars, purely to save space. You could write it on one line if you prefer. So making sure we include the key signature. Here's the starting C and ensuring that there is a note on every line and in every space all the way down to the next C. That's it. Steps one and two complete. This is C natural minor ascending and descending. Hopefully you're now feeling confident in how to calculate natural minor scales. All you need to remember is to calculate the key signature and then ensure that there is a note on every line and space as per my instructions at the bottom of this screen. 
As I said earlier, natural minors are an essential step in being able to calculate melodic and harmonic scales. So if you're feeling confident in being able to calculate natural minors, you are very close in mastering the other forms of the minor scale. Now before we go, just one word of warning before we finish. To any student studying theory with the associated board or ABRSM as it is known, at the time of this video's release, which is January, February 2011, the natural minor is not an acceptable answer in associated board music theory exams. In other words, if, in an exam, you are asked to identify a minor scale, the answer will either be melodic minor or harmonic minor, never natural minor. Or the exam may ask you to write a minor scale and then detail which version you have written. You must write your answer as melodic or harmonic. There are rumours that the associated board may be changing their exams to include natural minors, but regardless of its usage in exams, it is still essential to understand natural minors to enable you to comprehend melodic and harmonic minors. Many thanks for watching this video. Please do watch part two where I'll be explaining how to calculate harmonic minor scales.